Hello everyone, this is Bob Rebello with Go West Summit. And today I'm going to walk you through our new direct scheduling system. You may have already known that the matching system previously employed by Go West was built in-house as proprietary software and actually served us well for many years. Well, that same infrastructure was modified to accommodate this new direct scheduling system that allows each registrant to view the schedules of companies they would like to meet with and submit a request that can be reviewed and either approved or declined or asked to be rescheduled. The system allows registrants to block out the dates and times they are unavailable and the appointment duration has been increased to 30 minutes each to allow registrants to get set up and a bit of time to solve any technical disruptions that may occur. If you get done with your appointment session early, simply close the video window and look for openings in other company schedules or take the time to prepare for your next meeting. During the week of the appointment sessions, registrants will sim simply click a link in their schedule to begin the meeting and a video conferencing window will appear. This new system allows each GoS Summit registrant better scheduling control and more direct communication with each other. The appointment process opens for buyers and journalists one week before the system is open for suppliers. A staggered start to the appointment selection process allows buyers and journalists a full week to review and select appointments so suppliers can simply confirm pending requests and then submit their own selections when they begin the process. Let's take a moment to review what we'll cover today. Today we'll confirm our time zone, find out how to modify our profile, set up appointment availability, find suitable companies to meet with, and finally, we're going to request appointments and learn how to approve requests. Visit GoWestSummit.com to find additional information and helpful tools, including a detailed event timeline available under the event details page that will tell you when the appointment request process begins and when to expect our next tutorial, conducting your appointment sessions. You ready to get started? Me too. All right, most of you know how to log in already, but let me show you where you can find that information. GoWestSummit.com, click Member Login, and you'll be dropped down onto this page where you can enter your username and password. Go West Summit registrants use their email address as a username. And if you've forgotten your password, simply click this link, enter your email address, and a password reset link will be sent to you. From there, once you log in, you'll be dropped onto the Confirm Your Time Zone page. Since our buyers are located in nearly two dozen countries, the only way this system works is if everyone confirms the time zone in which they intend on taking the appointments. This system pulls the timestamp from your browser and automatically inserts it here. Those who do not confirm their time zone will get reminders from Go West until we see a confirmation from your record that it is done. Know that this step is necessary before you can pr proceed to scheduling your requests. Here you can see that the software has pulled the information from my browser that is telling it I'm in the mountain time in the United States. Simply click confirm to confirm your time zone. From there, you'll be dropped down onto the landing page where you, you'll have additional options available in the member area submenu. Let's talk about what you can find here. My account will allow you to edit your company profile, edit your contact information, modify and confirm your time zone, and even upload a photo or company logo. Also in the member area submenu, you'll find two documents, your receipt and also your original registration confirmation document. Under the registrations tab, you'll be able to add a secondary delegate if you have not yet done so. And finally, what we're all here to see, appointment selections. Step one is to set up your unavailable times. As you can see here, this person has a completely empty schedule. I'm assuming this person would like to sleep at some point, 
So let's block some time out for that. From 10 p.m. until 7 in the morning on Marketplace One, August 31st, I'm going to make unavailable. You'll see the data is saved now. And if you scroll down, you'll see the boxes have changed from white to gray. Let's set this up for every day. And finally, for Marketplace 5, let's scroll down to confirm, and there they are. This person also has another meeting that they would like to schedule around. On September 2nd, from 9 in the morning until 10, make unavailable. And let's take a look and see if that's there. There it is. Now that the unavailabilities have been set up, let's go back to the appointments page. Let's talk about how you can find companies that you would like to meet with. As you can see, Charlotte has already added 27 companies to the list that she would like to meet with. Here we provide tools to help find the companies that are suitable for your business. Here you can find individual filters that you can use to help filter all of the companies that attend Go West Summit. Simply click the check boxes, click done, filter, and a new list will be populated that you can pull from that only meet the properties that you've chosen. Click return to original list to clear that list. Another tool that we're providing this year for the first time ever are my profile matches. When buyers and suppliers register to attend Go West Summit, as you remember, you're asked to check a bunch of check boxes. These profile scores on the left here indicate companies that are interested in meeting companies like yours. For example, if you are doing business in the state of Alaska and this person has checked that they would like to do or currently do tours in Alaska, they would be higher on your profile score list. This is another opportunity for you to find companies that may or may not be on your horizon, but know that they are possibilities based on their profile score and how well they meet your profile. Once you find companies you would like to meet with, I'm going to return to the original list. Simply click the name of the company to add them to your list. You can also click the details button to view additional details about that company. And you can also view that company's schedule to check availability. Here you can see ACM Hospitality and Restaurants have made some time unavailable. Again, simply click the name of the company to add them to your appointments list. And then from there, click Save List, and we can proceed to the next step. Data is saved now. Back to appointments. Now we're going to request the meetings or send requests. Since you've already set up your times that you're unavailable, you can skip that box there. And here you can see with this test data, we have 
unavailable times blocked out. These are the two that we blocked out. And then of course, she wants to sleep. You can also see a couple pending requests, three here, and then two accepted requests. Click on one of the buttons below to make the requests in specific marketplaces. Let's take a look at marketplace one. From here, you can find companies that are available for a seven o'clock appointment that you've already put in your appointments list. Here are companies that are available to meet with you. Here are companies that are unavailable, either because they have blocked the time out or they already have a meeting that is confirmed. If you would like to check the schedule of a meeting or rather of a company that already has a spot filled up, click view schedule. It'll open a new box and you can see that CTO has blocked off from seven till 1.30 for each of the five. So simply submit a request on a date that they are available. Back to request meetings. Let's take a look at marketplace two. And you can see there's already a couple accepted requests here. Again, to submit a request for any time that's available to you, simply click the Find Companies button. Here are the available companies that you've already chosen you'd like to meet with. For additional information on each of them, simply click the Details button. To view their schedule, click the View Schedule button, and to submit a request to meet with them, simply click the name of the company, and a dialog box shows up. California Coastal Destinations and Hotels will now get notification that they have at least one pending request to meet. Let's return to the full schedule and learn how to accept requests. Again, blue is pending requests, and that's what you see here. Click on Marketplace 1 to pull up a detail of that page. You'll see that Evergreen Escapes has requested to meet with Charlotte. She'll click Respond, and then she'll have these three options to choose from. She can either simply accept the request, decline the request, or ask to reschedule the request. Once she accepts the request, the information will be saved and the color will change to green. Back to appointments. From here, you can also download profiles of companies that you would like to meet with and also find additional information that is not available in the details page. Back to appointments. One thing I didn't cover that I'd like to cover, remember we set some unavailable times here. If for some reason you'd like to clear your, your schedule, you can press this one button that makes it completely available and a dialog box asks you, are you sure? Don't you need to sleep? That's not what it says, but it should. Let's click it and see what happens.
And there you see she has a full open schedule again. During the week of the appointment sessions, registrants will simply click a link in their schedule to begin the meeting and a video uh, conferencing window will appear. The next tutorial will provide tips and tricks to get the most out of your appointment sessions. Visit GoWestSummit.com to find additional information and helpful tools, including a detailed event timeline available under the Event Details page that will tell you when the appointment request process begins and when to expect our next tutorial to become available. Thanks so much, everybody. Have a great day.